Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season 8, episode 19 of One Tree Hill. This time the title of the episode is We're Not to Look for Freedom. And we are back with a new episode of One Tree Hill. I am both excited and also kind of sad that I'm reaching the end of season 8. Because after that we only have 18 more episodes to go. Right? And that will be all for One Tree Hill. And like, what is going to be, what is next? <laughs> After uh, One Tree Hill, I have no idea. I really don't know. I mean, I know that there are, there's still like a lot of content in the terms of like uh, BTS and like deleted scenes and blooper reel, things like that, uh, interviews and all of that. Uh, that I can watch, but, like, I have, like, 18, 20, 22 more episodes to go. That's it. Like, that's all I have left from One Tree Hill. And it's, like, I don't know. I think it's sad. I think it's extremely sad that that is going to be it for this show. But all good things must come to an end, right? That's the reason why Riverdale continues to be renewed because it's not good. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm just kidding. But it's just, uh, it's just, I don't know, I feel sad, I feel happy at the same time because after all the episodes we were, we guys, we will be able to like, just talk about everything. There is no longer no spoilers and things like that. So yeah, anyways. We're here for episode 19, previous episode. It was the birth of uh, Nayli's uh, baby daughter, right? Baby girl. Um, and also what we thought it was going to be the birth of uh, Julian and Brooke's baby. But, you know, the girl backed down on it and it's extremely sad, so... We'll see what happens on this episode. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love One Tree Hill. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Go to Patreon to watch the extended version. Probably by the time I'm posting this on YouTube, I'm already done with the entire series of One Tree Hill. So go there and check it out. Link in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys continue supporting for more. And for now, I think that will be all. Yeah. Without further ado, let's just begin with Season 8, Episode 19 of One Tree Hill. Here we go. Don't oh, say sweetie. Don't say maybe. How awful I must this cry, be? Cry, cry, cry been down to so I feel so bad. She doesn't deserve that. So they don't deserve that. Yep. That's a car. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the? No wonder his son's a douchebag. This guy is an educator, a teacher who talks about ethics in business every day. Oh. And he just gets drunk, nearly kills Jamie and my wife, and just drives away. Wait, the teacher? Oh, talking about the teacher. I, I thought it was the. Wait, I'm confusion right now. Hey, by the way, I'm sorry about the baby. Oh, they know. The adoption. Oh. How's Brooke doing? She's devastated. You know, she's alive. Yeah. You two have each other and take yeah. it from me. That's a hell of a lot to have. Yeah. And he knows that too, but he's allowed to be upset. Killing his class is about to start. I'm gonna pay a visit. Good morning. Well, Jamie. it seems my class gets younger every day. You must have done exceedingly well on your advanced placement exams. <laughs> What's your name, son? Jamie Scott. He just wanted to see you again. Oh! But I don't believe we've met. I know what yeah, he's doing. Briefly. We ran into each other the night of the big storm. You were in your wagon here, and you were with your friend, Mr. Fidian. Oh! We were in a hurry, so we really didn't get a chance to talk. 
Well, we should do that, perhaps after class in my office. We know where to find you. Holy hell, so it was Monday. him! Okay. Okay! <laughs> I love how- I love how passive-aggressive this entire thing was. But I thought it was his son, the one who was doing that. Did I know it was him? I don't wanna be anything other than what I've been trying to be lately. I swear to God, by this point, I could make my own intro. Right? No offense to the artist, though, but like, I hate every second of this. I hated that. <laughs> A lot. Really. And he's watching us all in the eye. Thank God you're hot. <laughs> hey. Hey, girlfriend. <laughs> Step away from the mic, please. Drugs. <laughs> More specifically, drug stewards. Chester's a little upset with you. Look oh, how boy, pink. a baby and a bunny. Oh, pink everything is. I love it. I actually don't, but like. Well, the cute factor's high. Why is Chester upset? How would you like to open for Olin and the Moon? Oh my God, are you kidding me? Yes, Who are absolutely. They? Perfect. I'm opening mm -hmm. for Olin and the Who? The Moon. Yes. <laughs> I hope. Wait, wait, wait no, no, what no, do you no, mean? Why, why you hope so? <laughs> well, I mean, I have you. I just have to get Olin and the Moon. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> no. My son was trapped inside that car. He was scared, and he was alone, and you left him there. His godmother nearly died that night in front of his eyes, and you could have helped them, but instead, you slipped into the shadows like a coward. Was it him? And this is going to be made right by you or by me. Holy you hell. Think about that. Well, Nathan is 100% sure to be, you know, 100% right. To be upset because the likelihood of two very similar cars driving it onto something and both of them escaping it, they're very slim let's be real but also Nathan is not a detective so right but it, it I mean everything points out that it was him so we'll see sweetheart I hate seeing her like this. It's gonna be okay. She has you. Of course it's going to be okay. I hate that you're suffering right now, Brooke. I hate that. I swear I hate it. Yeah, me hey. don't sing, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> Let's take the baby from insane Aunt Gwen. No, she <laughs> likes her Aunt Gwen. Oh, I, I was never, never able to do that. To just leave Josh for him to fall asleep alone. I couldn't. Close over bros. The fuck? Oh, it's so cute. I love Victoria! Those over bros offered me a job. Well, it's about time. Let me guess, the line doesn't work without the talented girl who spins the straw into gold. Yeah, of I course. Suppose. But if the money is better than good, you'd be crazy not to take it. Do you think so? It's New York. It's lucrative. It's what you love to do. Yeah, well, yeah. Career-wise, it is what she loves to do. And it's your baby. It is. I mean, her, the fact that she gets to be successful again on her career doesn't mean that, you know, she has to just forget about the other side of it, you know? So, it's good. It's good. I don't want this to feel bad, you know? Yeah, then maybe after we can uh, work on your hey, left hand. Hey, where'd the baskets go? Oh, what the hell? Future home of the Riverview condominiums. Oh! For the river court. There won't be a river court. 
Academic tenure is primarily intended to guarantee the right of academic freedom. It protects teachers when they dissent from prevailing opinion. It does not, however, allow you to drive drunk and flee the scene of an accident. Good. Which is what I did. You're admitted? Yeah. I was having a dinner in Raleigh, and I, I didn't want to wait out the storm. So you drove home drunk with an open bottle of Fidians in the car. Holy and hell. That was wrong. I resigned my position. And I'll pay for any damages to the vehicle, hospital bills, all of it. I'd appreciate that the authorities not be involved, but I'll understand if you feel it's necessary. And one more thing. I'm sorry. I mean, he's been honest. System, Tanya. I mean, he admitted to his mistake. Condos. It's a shame. Parks are important to a community, for families, fathers and sons. Oh, we know. It's a shame. But the thing here is that that is not all. If you don't involve the, the authorities, he can't do this again and expect to get away with it just by writing a check. So I think that there needs to be some accountability legally. Or at least that, I don't know, he promised to go to AA or something like that. And the last known survivor stops his prey in the Wait. night. And uh -huh. he's watching us all with the eye. <laughs> Sweetheart. What? She's hot. Hey. <laughs> she can do whatever the hell she wants. <laughs> First off, congrats on the baby. Very Thanks. strong. Tell her to come and see me in about 17 years. Wow. I'm gonna get a workout in and um, I wanna avoid Alex Dupre. I was kinda working that, but she totally blew me off. Smart girl. Yeah, it's true. Right. I gotta go. I can't believe they're gonna tear down the river court. It's gonna be so weird not to have it here. Yeah. It's sad. To move to New York and design. Uh, for who? Clothes over bros. Is that something that you'd consider? Yeah. Victoria thinks I should. What about you? Aww. Maybe it's good that the river court will be gone. When we see it, it just reminds us of what's gone. Oh, sweetie. Who we thought we'd be someday. Sweetie, don't give up, though. I know it's hard, but like... Future home, a river view still, condominium. She's so young. A lot of living down right here, bro. End of an era. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. And they took the things just like... It's really gonna be the end of an era. How you doing? Devilish? I need a over. drink. I need a drink and a boy. So much for baby steps. <laughs> he was right. I'm not a musician. I'm just an actress pretending to be one. Oh. No, you're not. <clears throat> Heard your songs. They're great. So are you. Don't drink it. Don't drink that. Are you still going down this path? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the very beautiful and very talented Alex Dupre. I love that. I love she's like very beautiful. And talented. She's good. She's good. She's good, huh? Yeah. yeah. Sexy and single. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> she is sexy and single. She should take her own advice. <laughs> well, Queenie is not single. That was stressful. I can do it. Yeah. Oh, that's what are you doing? <laughs> yes, baby, yes. That was amazing. Oh, look at her. Like, this is her. I love it. I am also going to guess there's not a single fanfic of the of them, right, Quinn and Alex. He resigned his teaching position and he offered to pay any costs associated with the accident. And he apologized. To you. He apologized? I'm not defending him, Julian. I just wanted you to know what happened. 
You see, this is what I'm talking about, Nate. So now it's on us? Yeah. So I got to feel guilty if we turn in Kellerman for getting drunk and driving like an idiot. Great. That's on me now. Oh, sweetie. And me. This is one of every flavor they had. They didn't have tequila flavor. Disrespect. I love that. He's so adorable. They say they deserve the world. He does look like Damon, doesn't he? It was him, right? It was Ian, right? If the accident goes public, I'll deal with it. Does any of this matter to you that I loved my work? Then you shouldn't have done it. I miss your mother more every day, but I'm thankful she's not alive to see this. It was him. To see what's become of us. The scouts are going to be here, Dad. Julian Baker, my wife, Brooke, was in the car you hit. I'm sorry for that. That's it? And you think that's enough? I watched her lungs fill with water because of what you did. I watched her eyes go dim. Oh, my God. Don't remind me of that, I please. I said I was sorry. Well, sorry isn't enough. I nearly lost my wife. Nathan nearly lost his son. Do you know what that feels like? Yes, I do. I've lost both. That doesn't make it right, though. I'm not sure if it was him. I told Mia you were amazing tonight, and she says congratulations, and she told you so. Yeah. Speaking of girls with guitars, do you talk to Mia much? Can we not do Can this again? Us? I'm just friends. Well, tell her I said thanks and hi. Yeah. Baby steps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now what? Chuck says you're hot. I mean, <laughs> the kid is <laughs> right. <laughs> what if you did a piece on the river court? You know, something about the people who grew up here and what it means to the community? I like it. I can't believe they're gonna turn the river court into condoms. Condoms, I mean. Houses. Condom. I don't know how to pronounce it. It sounds the same to me. Condoms and condo. Maybe it's that. I don't know. Hey. Will you even know? The photo of his dog and of his son. There. Getting out of Tree Hill? What do you think? I don't know. I want what makes her happy. You I know? think you're right. I think we'd be happy in New York. I think you guys will be happy as long as you guys, as you guys have each other. But I don't want to see her suffering, you know? Hold up. What are you drinking? It's bourbon. It's not just bourbon, it's Fidians. Oh my god. Oh you my god. Kellerman on the Gable Bridge. But it I wasn't mean, him. You know, you've made a mistake. Of the course he did it for his own. I'll deal with it. Good luck to you, son. To me. Fathers and sons. It's a shame. It is. See, I told you. I was like, why are they trying to make me believe that it was the old man? He was taking the fall for it. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season eight, episode 19 of One Tree Hill. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so. I was really confused during this episode because I thought, nah, I mean, haven't they, like, told us? 
that it was Ian, the one who did this, and like it makes more sense since he is very irresponsible to do that. So, the, like the entire episode was like, okay, it was Kellerman, it was the, the the teacher, but I just had a feeling in me, like especially when they, you know, when Ian and his dad talk, uh, I was like, maybe he's covering up for him, and it, it's you know, it's such a dad thing to do, you know, parent thing to do, where you want to protect your kids, even if you are trying to protect them from themselves. Um, but the thing is, like I said, during the reaction, even if you don't take, um, even if you, you know, sign a check to cover all the medical bills and you do this and you resign to your job and things like that, what is it going to stop you from making an even worse mistake later, later on that will actually cause someone's life. That is exactly what we're doing right now. That is exactly what uh, the, the teacher, the professor, whatever it is, that that is what he's risking right now. That his son is not going to take any accountability for this and he's going to make an even worse mistake. I, as a parent, will not want to protect my kid um, and for him to learn nothing at the end of the day. I will feel awful. I will feel terrible about um, allowing him to get away with it and then for him to end up killing someone. I wouldn't want that for my son. I will rather, I'm much, will rather to have him know the consequences of their actions as big or as small they are you know, and try to make him learn. Because at the end of the day, I don't want him to do, to commit any crimes, you know. Uh, so this is just a ticking bomb, you know. And it's Nathan, the one who is representing, who brought in onto uh, the company because he was like, no, he is a good person. And honestly, how will you think that this person is going to drive drunk, hit a car, and then run away? Like, it's something that you couldn't have prevented. You know what I mean? So I understand that he saw the good career that this kid could have, and it was an asset to his uh, company or to Clay's company. But, you know, he made, you know, now that he understands that it was Keller, it was Ian, he knows that he made a terrible mistake. Um, I'm sad. I'm really, really sad for the teacher. I, I love that he, you know, I mean, as a parent, I could understand why he wants to protect him. You know, uh, I might sit here and say, oh, no, I wouldn't like do this if I was in his position, but who's to say, you know, uh, as a parent, sometimes, even if you know it's the wrong thing, sometimes you just want to protect them from everything, even themselves, that you do things like this, you know. Um, so it's, it's, it's very complicated, but how will it develop later on uh, with, um, with, with the story, with whether if we're gonna know if Ian is going to go to jail, is he gonna lose his career? Uh, I mean, we don't know, but it's going to be out there, you know, it's going to be part of the story now. So, we'll see what happens there. Um, this episode, Queen, was hilarious. Uh, she was just, you know, singing, and I love that. I love how, you know crazy they can be with with her character you know when there is the need to have him being a very dramatic character where you know she goes through the shooting and everything that happened you know she can deliver you know like this the tears and all of it but like I love this other side of Queen that is so silly and so you know uh I, I just love it I just love it and I love her relationship with with uh, with Haley, it's just so beautiful to see. Um, so yeah, she and also I love her friendship, and truly, like I could say I ship it because honestly, if you put two girls looking at each other, you know, I will ship it. It's very, it's very easy for me to ship two women, especially two women. Okay, um, but honestly, I do like the friendship. You know, if I want to 
take the gay out of it. <laughs> I really, really do enjoy the friendship between um, between Quinn and and Alex. I hope that it could go on beyond this season. I don't know if it will, but I think that you know one of the things that uh, the show also does very good is the female friendships. You know, I mean, they are not like, in-your-face, you know, type of feminist uh, scene that it, sometimes it feels very forced, but you know how deep the friendships are, you know, and if the case behind the scenes will have been completely different, and if Hillary will have never left the show, we know that the friendship between Brooke and and and, and Payton and also uh, Haley will have grown even more. You know, we know that. Um, but, like, having Queen and exploring other female friendships, I think, is very uh, uh, important. And I, I really love it. I, I think they're really cute and they, you know, support each other and all of that. And it's, it's very cute. It's something that Alex and Millie also had. But it was just, like, the, the phase that Millie had. It just went past and they did not talk about it anymore. And they are not as close as they should be for the things they went through together. But they completely forgot because why? Because we need to have the love triangle between Mia, Alex, and Chase again because we're not done with it for some reason. <laughs> I honestly, like that storyline, I feel like it has been done so many times and it doesn't hit as good as any other love triangles that we had in the past it just it, at this point i'm like annoyed to the point of like if you want to get alex and chase together then just do it and just like be gone like the relationship because i just i'm not invested on their relationship to be honest I, are they cute yes because both actors are very attractive but am i sold on the idea of them no i could easily if chase is with mia i couldn't care less <laughs> I really can't, um, because I just, I don't like, and then there is the sexist comments, like, the fact that Nathan joked about, oh, yeah, I asked Clay about Alex, because she knows the inside of, like, how it looks from his room to the ocean, or something like that, and I was like, we don't need to do that, and then he was like, oh, because she blow him off, and I'm like, stop it. You know, why would you want to brag about it? That's such a, like, lame thing to, like, didn't like it, okay? So, I didn't like that comment. Um, so, but yeah, anyways. Uh, what else happened? Well, baby Lydia is being a cutie pie, like, she's amazing. And I love seeing, um, Hayley in his more maternal. I mean, she's always like that, but, like, seeing her with the baby and all of it, it was just so beautiful. I loved it. Um... And, but we have another very important storyline, which is Brooke and Julian and the fact that now all of his, uh, all of the friends, you know, everyone knows about the failed adoption, which it was something that they needed to say, you know, um, I wish that we could like when, uh, Haley and Brooke were talking, uh, I wish it could have been more than just the offer to go to New York because uh, as a parent, you know, Haley could relate to how she, uh, Brooke, is feeling. Maybe not, she can relate to the fact that she has lost a child because she hasn't, um, but this very much feels like, you know, she lost a kid, you know? Um, so I think that, I think it could have been good having both of them talking about this, that is so important. Yes, of course, Brooke has Julian, and that's beautiful. But, you know, what you can get out of that, you know, female female experience, I think it could have been a lot helpful and, and very beautiful to see Brooke and, and, and Haley talking about it. Sadly, we did not have that. We do. We did have the conversation whether she was going to New York or not, um, which is not a hundred percent clear. But you know, I understand why Brooke is feeling like this, and I hate it. Men 
oh my god i really hate that she's feeling like that i really really do and i mean i don't want to hate on you know the girl who at the end of the day decided to keep the baby I mean, at least the baby is, lo it will be loved, you know, and she uh, will have her parents and hopefully she has a beautiful life. Uh, and of course she could, uh, you know, feel bad about it and, and, and take it back. You know, I understand that. I understand. I don't want to hate on that. But like the fact that, that Brooke is feeling so down, it just like breaks my heart because I... I know that Brooke and Julian deserve to be happy in whatever shape or form that happiness comes from. You know, if it if it's from their careers and if they're happy, I'm happy. If it comes from family, if they're happy, I'm happy. You know what I mean? So I just want them to be happy. You know, I want them to be happy. And sadly, they are not because they're suffering from what just happened. And I hate it. I hate that. I hate seeing them. And especially Brooke so lost both of them because Julian is no normally not the guy who will scream at anyone. Okay. He is always so chill and, and, and like willing to listen to everyone. And, but the fact is that, um, the fact is that seeing him do that, it was just, It was heartbreaking. I, I hated it. Now, will Brooke take the job in New York? I don't know. Is it okay for her to leave Tree Hill? I don't know. But I, I just don't... I want her to be happy. You know? So at the end of the day, whatever she feels like, then I'm okay with it. You know? Go for it. Um, and it makes me... It makes me really sad. It really does. And then there is the river river court that is disappearing because there will be they will build houses there um and i'm like you can't do that that's a river court like where are we gonna have our dramatic moments like no where will Peyton write letters <laughs> For, for Lucas to read. <laughs> I mean, I know they don't live here anymore, but still, they could have a fight that could bring them back and she needs a place to, like, kind of express her feelings. Because <laughs> remember that time? I love that. It was it was her, right? It was Peyton. Or was it Lucas the one who did that? No, it was Peyton. Like, honestly. You know, so it's like, there are so many things that had happened on that river court that is like really sad. Like the story kind of started there where where when Nathan and Lucas had that one on one, you know, um to be on the team or not. Um so it kind of like the story started there and for it to come to an end is like I hate that. You know, but they still have one more season so please do not build anything there. Please, for the love of all gods. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a great episode. It was a really, really, really good episode. And I cannot wait to watch the next one, which I'm going to watch right after I finish this. If you're on Patreon, you get both of the episodes today. Uh, if you're on YouTube, then it will be posted in the next two, three days. The next one. Because they need to be edited. And I don't know who's going to edit it. You know, sometimes I do it, sometimes someone else does it. I have no idea who will edit, who will end up editing this one. I wouldn't even remember by the time I'm editing this or someone else who will edit or that I was questioning who was editing this. But, you know, I hope that you guys enjoy the reaction either way. Um, and you can join Patreon at any time and watch all nine season reaction for One Tree Hill. How crazy is that? That didn't even happen with... The Vampire Diaries, because I didn't start it doing uncut reactions until very late season two or season three, I think. So the first few seasons, you only have the edited versions on YouTube. But on, like, for One Tree Hill, I started since episode one, and we're, like, eight seasons in, uh, almost nine seasons, and all the seasons will be posted there on cut reactions. So that is amazing. I, I think it's the first show I do something like that. I think so. I don't know, but it, uh, if you want to, check it out. Link in the description. Um, and if you're already on Patreon, give it a heart. Continue supporting for more because I will be posting uh, more reactions the next... Uh, I mean, today and tomorrow 
we're gonna finish season eight and I don't know when I'm gonna start season nine because I'm, I'm going to be like I don't know I'm probably just you know rip it like a band-aid and just do it right away I don't know but it's going to be a sad day when I start season nine. Oh, anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, go to Patreon, like I said. And that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for One Tree Hill. That's it. Bye, guys.